Don't put me in there. Don't you want to go free? Yeah, in Fiji, where I come from. Not here. It's an alien world. There's no telling what could happen. What could happen? I could die, or worse, become invasive, like this calerpotaxifolia. Ew, that looks bad. You shouldn't even pour your tank water down the drain. Here's what you do. Give me back to the store, or give me to a friend. Or call your store for advice. And all plants go in the freezer for 24 hours. Okay. Remember, don't release a pest. Freezing is best. Cut. Brent, I love it. Tail sticks? All right. <laughs> nice job. All right? That's good. That's exactly what we're looking for. I just got to know something here. What are people thinking when they decide to get rid of an aquarium fish by dumping it into the ocean? Maybe they're trying, maybe they're thinking that if they think they're doing the favor by letting them not have to go back to the pet store, maybe they, think they don't have a friend to give it to. So, so what you're saying is that maybe people think that the environment in my little aquarium in your home is the same as the environment in the ocean and their local beach. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how it works. The oceans are totally different. The environment is different. The plants are different. The food is different. Everything's different. They do not teach me how to forage for food or fend off predators in an aquarium. And I mean, I'm third generation aquarium fish. I've heard about the ocean. I've read about the ocean. But, you know, I've never actually been there. I mean, I wouldn't even know what to do if I was suddenly dropped in the ocean. I don't have the skill set. I'm an aquarium fish. That's what I do. I guess it'd be like setting your cat free in the woods. That's right. Would you set your cat free in the woods? What if I know I don't have any clear protexifolia, that I've checked it all out with my local pet shop? Okay. Is it okay if I dump it in the ocean then? You have to remember that we don't know what's going to become invasive. I mean, nobody knew that calerpotaxifolia was invasive until it suddenly was dumped in the ocean and took over miles and miles. So something else that you think is benign or okay might suddenly become invasive and take over another part of the ocean and become a whole new problem that we might be reporting about, you know, 10 years from now. Does it matter on the size of the fish tank? This stuff grows crazy. A little tiny bit of one of these invasive plants can take over a huge amount of the ocean floor, miles and miles, just from one small little plant that was in somebody's aquarium at home. This calerpa stuff is noxious. The only way to safely neutralize something like taxifolia is to freeze it for 24 hours, then throw it in the trash. Oh, my net's here. Okay, uh, are we good? We're good, we got it. That's a wrap, thank you everybody. You were good to work with. Thanks, you too. Can I get a bottle of water? Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, guys, that was great.